My favorite phrase out of that series that I watched while I was going to school was, no matter where you are, there you are, so you might as well have fun while you're there. Right? So we might as well have fun tonight. I mean, we have, we're going to be here together for an hour, 60 minutes together. We might as well have fun. So it kind of goes along that line. If you act enthusiastic, you will be enthusiastic. Change your mindset. Control your attitude. Make sure that you're leading the control on that aspect. The last thing I want to do is relinquish that aspect of somebody else. So now, confidence. This is interesting. We talked about how we're going to get our 18 volunteers. I asked, there's 120 of us, 130 of us in the room. And it took us longer than I expected to get 18 volunteers. Why, those of us that were not sitting, that did not volunteer, why did you not volunteer? <laughs> so we, we, we were able to take that as a good excuse. I, I'm a master of excuses. I really am. I've got more than anybody. <laughs> so we, 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 we saw the challenge getting out. It was like, eh, it's too much of a struggle. Okay? Somebody else. How many of us, we didn't want to become embarrassed? We didn't know what we were going to get ourselves into. Right? Taking a risk is important. Do you agree? If we want to do something that's already been done, how many of us want to be the creator of the, uh, what is it, I don't know how many apps there are now, but the next 500 million free apps available. <laughs> how many of us want to be the creator of the first one? Right? So we need confidence. Now, confidence is going to come from experience. Would you agree? Now, those of us at 18 that, that came up, did they necessarily have confidence? Or did they have courage? They have, they, they have some confidence in that courage as well. They're going, hey, I can volunteer. It's not going to hurt me. I have nothing to lose. I can do something. I might learn something. They had the courage to jump out and do it, right? Now, in order to follow through successfully, we have to have the confidence in our skill sets, etc. So it takes a combination, but we have to have both courage as well as confidence. Because confidence is a situation. I'm confident I can stand up here and speak for 60 minutes. Right? But it took courage the very first time I did it. Make sense? Go ahead. Would you also say that trust is also another thing? Like, for example, I came up there because I trust that you weren't going to make a pull out of it. <laughs> yes. But, I mean, you have to trust in yourself. You trust right? in the environment as well, yeah. right? You know, like, like, like when taking a risk, you trust that you'll be able to accomplish it. Yes. So it's having that personal trust as well, no? Yeah, it is. In fact, right. That personal trust that, you know, I can do it. I might, who knows? But I know I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to give it a hell. Because that's where that's where new challenges, right? New horizons come from is because we have the courage to say, "Yeah, I'm going to do it." All of these successful people that we hear about, we read about, have they ever failed? Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. They had the courage to go out and do it again, and the confidence they're never going to make that same mistake twice. Right? And so it falls down on this aspect, but it's 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 the ability to know that. I'm going to get into it, and I'm going to give it a shot. Doesn't mean that I might not learn along the way. I need more education. I need more information. But I'm going to try it. I'm going to do that. Those of us that you know, you moved from your hometown to you know beautiful mountains of Arizona to go to school. How many of us were shoved out the door? How many of us were just dropped out and we said, "Oh, I didn't know we we're going on a trip." <laughs> <laughs> It took courage to do that. It takes courage to go on and do what you're doing. Now, we have the courage to do the right things, and we have the courage to do the wrong things. Now, we want to have that confidence to follow it up. So when you think about it, those are listed on the page paper there, those five areas. So 
The question that I'm going to ask you to write down for the first two or three minutes yourself is how will growth in those areas, enhancement in those areas, being able to communicate more clear and concise, be more persuasive, how is demonstrating more people skills, have the ability to have others relate with me as well as me relate with them, leadership, controlling my attitude as well as confidence, how is growth in those areas going to help me both now in school and beyond? So please take a moment and answer that question for yourself in the middle of the page. one of us has an insight as to where you're going, what you're doing, and you've interpreted the five areas in the brief amount of time we described it. So what I'm going to ask you to do is get in groups of five or six, just in your small area there, and each one of you takes a few seconds and just says, this is what I think, how it would benefit me. If I grew these areas, so basically they're going to answer that question. They're going to tell you what they wrote. They're not going to read what they wrote. Now why would I ask you to tell us what they wrote versus read what they wrote? Communication. How many of us <laughs> recognize the fact that when we're reading, we're bored? Because we don't want to fall asleep just yet. You're going to tell us what you wrote, and you're not going to read it. All right? So please get into groups of five or six. Everybody go around, share with you, with each other, what they wrote down. Head. They really, they come and go. 
but it's not until I put it on paper. So I'm going to challenge you guys. Put your vision, what you want the next six months to a year out of your life, from grades to attendance of these events. <laughs> right? What is your vision? And then start working towards it. Write it out. And then do something worse than that. Share it with somebody. Put it on the hook. Find somebody that you know is going to give you grief when you don't do it. But challenge yourself to do that. So now take that aspect, those five areas you just looked at, go down to the wheel of life down to the bottom, and put a, a dot along the line. Let's say that uh, zero is, or one's in the middle and ten's on the outside. How would you rate your current ability in each one of those areas? And so go around the group, Put an X on each one of them, and then connect your dots. Point out on my grouping that I can overcompensate and bring the rest of it out. Well, where do you believe that the true center of that is? My lowest point, right? So whatever my lowest point is, is going to bring the rest of them back in. And so I'm going to have to continue to grow and develop, identify ways in which we can accomplish this. But how many of us have a fear of public speaking? More people would prefer to die <laughs> than to stand up and share their ideas. In today's business environment, you don't necessarily have to have the ability to stand in front of an auditorium. But we have to have the ability when we're in a team of six to speak up. Now, I don't want us to change personalities because you know, those of us that are you know, the high introverts or high thinkers, high you know, intellectuals and the, 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 so forth, they're, they're going to process more information than what possibly a person that's more verbal will. Don't change that aspect, but don't be afraid to share your ideas. We have to have that ability because all too often when I'm talking with business owners and executives of an organization, and I'll say, what is your challenge with this particular group? And they'll tell me they can't communicate. They sit in the meetings and they don't share their ideas. They see the challenges and all we hear about is the rumblings later. And so yes, communication does mean the ability to stand up. We have to master the art of overcoming that fear of public speaking. And we want butterflies. We really do. We just want the flying things. Because I can guarantee you there's some individuals that have no butterflies and have presented. And it might have been a little warm, a little dread. Never change their fluctuation of their tones. We are in the process of formulating and getting this done, but we're going to be bringing the Dale Carnegie course, which addresses those five areas, to the campus this spring. Seventeen to twenty-five is all that gets in the class. And so if you truly have a desire to grow in those five areas, and you are interested in looking at the Dale Carnegie course as an option for you to grow and develop in that, please contact Bernadine. She's going to give you some information on what they're doing. They're going out and finding some grant money for this, but they're going to be hand selecting. There's going to be some things that they're going to be wanting from you guys as far as what you're going to do, how you're going to use it, how it's going to benefit you. They're trying to really put forth an opportunity here. And so should you have a desire to truly excel in these five areas? <clears throat> How many of us have heard or seen the video from Warren Buffett? It's on his diploma in his wall, the Dale Carnegie course, the same one we're bringing here. It's the only diploma he has on his wall. And if you go on and listen to his video, it helped him master the ability to sell his ideas. And so when you think about what you want to achieve and where you want to go, it often has be done with that communication. But we have to have the confidence, we have to have the ability to relate to others, and the ability to relate to us, demonstrate leadership. So on behalf of Dale Carnegie, I want to thank you guys for participating this afternoon. Uh, there's nothing better